previously we have talked about the powers and functions of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha individually. Now we have to learn the powers and functions that the Lok Sabha has which the Rajya Sabha doesn't have or the powers that the Rajya Sabha has that the Lok Sabha doesn't have. These are special powers or exclusive powers of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha respectively. In a parliamentary system, the executive is responsible to the legislature. The parliament has the right to ask questions and pass motions which can affect the present government. But the council of ministers is responsible to the Lok Sabha and not the Rajya Sabha. So this is an exclusive function of the Lok Sabha. How can the Lok Sabha control the executive? Well, the Lok Sabha has the power to create and discard the government. The government stays in power as long as it has the support of the majority of the Lok Sabha. So there are certain motions which can be passed only in the Lok Sabha. Let us understand which motions these are. So the first motion is an adjournment motion. The adjournment motion can be passed only in the Lok Sabha. Through the passing of the adjournment motion, the failures, mistakes and wrongdoings of the ministries can be pointed out. The other motion that can be passed only in the Lok Sabha is the censure motion. It is passed to show a strong disapproval or harsh criticism by the parliament to some policy or law that has been passed by the present government. And lastly, we have the no confidence motion. The no confidence motion means that the parliament or the majority of the Lok Sabha who are representatives of the people of the country do not trust the working of the present government anymore. So they do not have faith or trust in the government. If the no confidence motion is passed by the majority members of the Lok Sabha, then the Prime Minister along with his council of ministers have to vacate their seats. So these motions can be passed only in the Lok Sabha. So the Rajya Sabha doesn't have the power to pass the adjournment motion, the censure motion or the no confidence motion. Secondly, the Lok Sabha has some greater advantage or more power in the passing of money bills. So money bills can originate only in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha only has an advisory role. When the money bill has been passed by the Lok Sabha and it reaches the Rajya Sabha, the Rajya Sabha has the power to give its recommendations only. But this also has to be done within 14 days. Now when this bill again returns to the Lok Sabha, the Lok Sabha has the power to either accept these recommendations or to reject them totally. And when this is passed again to the Rajya Sabha, the Rajya Sabha has no power to withhold the bill anymore. It has to pass it to the President for his assent. Secondly, there are sometimes need for grants that is requirement for money for the functioning of various ministries or branches of the executive. Only the Lok Sabha has the power to discuss and vote on these demands for the grants. But the Rajya Sabha can only discuss them but it cannot vote on them. So in these two matters of financial importance, the Lok Sabha has more power than the Rajya Sabha. Sometimes there may be a bill that cannot be agreed on by both the houses together. So maybe the Rajya Sabha doesn't agree to a bill that has been passed by the Lok Sabha or the Lok Sabha doesn't agree to a bill that has been passed by the Rajya Sabha. If there is a deadlock, that is no more progress can be made, the president might call a joint sitting of the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha. In this joint sitting, the Lok Sabha has greater advantage than the Rajya Sabha. This is because of two things. Firstly, the strength of the Lok Sabha is greater than the strength of the Rajya Sabha. We know that in general, the strength of the Lok Sabha is 552. 
and the strength of the Rajya Sabha is 250 members. So 552 is greater than 250. Or if we consider the status quo, the Lok Sabha has 545 members and the Rajya Sabha has 245 members. So the strength of the Lok Sabha is greater than the strength of the Rajya Sabha. Hence, the Lok Sabha has a greater power. And secondly, a joint sitting of the two houses is presided over by the Speaker of the Lok Sabha. So the Lok Sabha has an advantage during the joint sitting. Now we have understood the special powers of the Lok Sabha. So similarly, we have to understand what special powers or exclusive powers the Rajya Sabha has. So the first exclusive power of the Rajya Sabha is that in the national interest, the Rajya Sabha can create one or more All India services for the Union and the States. To do this, the Rajya Sabha has to pass a resolution with two-thirds majority of its members and then it can create certain All India services for the whole of the country and its States in the national interest. The second exclusive power of the Rajya Sabha is it can make laws on a matter which is in the state list, in the national interest. The state legislatures are actually supposed to legislate on matters which are under the state list. But when the Rajya Sabha passes a resolution with a majority of two-thirds of its members, then it can legislate on a matter which is actually under the state list. But this law will be a temporary law and will have a validity of one year. However, this one year time period can be extended as well. The most important exclusive power of the Rajya Sabha is that it is a permanent house. The Rajya Sabha has a tenure of six years and one third of its members are replaced every second year. That is, one third of its members retire every two years and a new batch of members enter. So the Rajya Sabha can never be totally dissolved by the President like the Lok Sabha can. This is a very special power because sometimes when there is an emergency like a national emergency or a financial emergency or emergency due to failure of constitutional machinery, the President has to give a proclamation of emergency. But this proclamation of emergency should be passed by both houses. But in such a situation, if the Lok Sabha is not in session or it has been dissolved, then the Rajya Sabha has the power to approve of this proclamation of emergency. Hence, during an emergency, when the Lok Sabha is not in session, the Rajya Sabha, because of its permanent nature, has a very important responsibility. And all of the lawmaking powers go to the Rajya Sabha during this time. Let us compare the two houses. The constitution gives the Rajya Sabha and the Lok Sabha an equal footing in almost all matters such as lawmaking functions, election of the president, the vice president, removal of high federal officers or amendment of the constitution. But the powers of the Lok Sabha is to a certain degree higher than that of the Rajya Sabha because the Council of Ministers is only responsible to the Lok Sabha and the money bills can be passed in the Lok Sabha only. So if we ask which house do you think is more powerful, what will be your answer? If you think it's the Lok Sabha, that is right. This is because the Lok Sabha, as its name suggests, represents the people of the country while the Rajya Sabha represents the states and India being a democratic country gives more weightage to the opinions of the citizens or the people of the country. So the Lok Sabha is a little more powerful than what the Rajya Sabha is. Now let us compare the two houses. So the Lok Sabha is the house of the people where people who are eligible to vote, that is Indian citizens who are above 18 years of age, can elect their representatives. And the Rajya Sabha is the Council of States who are elected 
by the elected members of the legislative assembly of the states the election of the lok sabha is a direct election while the election of the members of the rajya sabha is through an indirect method the lok sabha is a temporary body because it dissolves after every 5 years it has a 5 year term after which the president has to dissolve the lok sabha but the rajya sabha is a permanent body that is because one third of its members change after every 2 years then the age eligibility of the lok sabha member is 25 years and above so the members of the lok sabha have to be above 25 years of age while that of the rajya sabha are 30 years or above the legislative powers of the lok sabha is that the lok sabha can pass all the motions and bills including the no confidence motion the adjournment motion and the censure motion whereas the rajya sabha can pass all general motions other than the motion of no confidence the adjournment motion or the censure motion in financial powers the lok sabha can introduce money bills in the house while in the rajya sabha money bills cannot originate or cannot be introduced the presiding officer of the lok sabha is the speaker who is elected from within the house but the presiding officer of the rajya sabha is called the chairman the ex officio chairman is the vice president of india so the vice president of india by virtue of him being the vice president becomes the chairman of the rajya sabha so the vice president does not have to be elected from within the members of the rajya sabha in the house in the absence of the presiding officer a deputy speaker is elected for the lok sabha the deputy speaker is also elected from within the house in case of the rajya sabha in absence of its presiding officer that is in absence of the chairman of the rajya sabha the deputy chairman sits and he is also elected from within the house the maximum number of members that can be present in a lok sabha is 552 and that of rajya sabha is 250 in the status quo the lok sabha has 5 40 Five members, while the Rajya Sabha in status quo has two hundred and forty-five members. The tenure of the Lok Sabha is five years. That is, the life of the Lok Sabha is five years, and that of the Rajya Sabha is six years. The quorum of the Lok Sabha is one tenth of the total membership of the House. That is, one tenth of five hundred and forty-five. That is, fifty-five members. while the quorum for the rajya sabha is 25 members now we have understood how the rajya sabha and the lok sabha represent people of the country in different ways but these two houses together make up the parliament and are partners in running the parliament of the country don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like PlayStations and iPads. So at Delta Step learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now